today it is marked by the world um, a day of love uh, they have given it a name Valentine's Day that's the name that they have given it uh, they've given it the name Valentine's Day the world has borrowed a godly word the world has borrowed a godly word and the word is called love it is a very important word because it describes my God. My God is love. Um, even in his commandments, he says, above all, it is love. He says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. You see, the world has borrowed a name which describes my Lord, which is God, my God. And the, the name is called love. Today, I'm going to speak about love since um, the whole world is speaking about love but in this manner I will, I will claim the love and bring forth the love that is missing which i call agape love um, love of god which is no longer flowing in people so i'm very much worried and very much concerned uh, over this love <clears throat> um It is, it, love has become a rare commodity. Um, love has become a rare commodity. Uh, I'm talking about just natural uh, love. Um, let me say this to you. Many people are now entangled to what you have more than they can be engaged to what you carry inside and it is so worrisome that the serious engagement that is there is no longer of natural love but it is now love of the things people will come after you and say or abuse the word i love you because it is now easy to use the word moreover here in africa it is very easy to use the word i love you yet there is not even a single drop of love um, well, the world has become so fast that people are no longer patient even to test for the love. People are no longer patient even to wait for real love because everything is now moving so fast to the extent that what you call love may be another animal. Maybe another animal. Um, the description of love that I think is a real description i would take love is a sacrifice that's how i would take it reading from the book of uh, john chapter 3 verse 16 it says for god loved the world for god loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life for god loved the word world so much you see le losing the one and only because you love it's a straight description of sacrifice the word is saying god loved the world and he managed to sacrifice the only and begotten son to the world I would want to take the center of love as sacrifice. If there is no sacrifice, I don't want to believe there is love. If there is no sacrifice, I don't want to believe there is love. I, I strongly believe that love is described by sacrifice. This is my center of my teaching today. Um, I would want you to, to look at my points that will be laying very soon, uh, describing the issue of love. I just want you to test what I'm about to say, and I want you to see the center of what I'm about to say. Uh, first of all, um, which is very, very, very important, I want you to take note that love is now very rare to find. I'm talking of genuine love. I'm talking of genuine love which makes one uh, not to sleep in anger because they love somebody they will try and sort it out 
and not sleep in anger. What is full right now in people's heart is continuous grudges where people will hold your mistake forever. Those people who can genuinely love and genuinely forgive may be very rare to find right now. Why? As I've said on the on my first part of my teaching, everything is now moving very fast to the extent that it's, sometimes it's difficult to then uh, check and calculate and give a proper measurement, measurement according to whatever you see. Uh, mostly, we term the word love in a wrong position. It's just, what can I say? Maybe an art of um, agreement. People are just living in agreement and we say there's love. Hear me. When you love, you quickly forgive. When you love, you quickly forgive. And right now, what is making the world not to move forward? What is making families to die with hypertension, BP, and other unnecessary diseases, some backache, migraine headaches, is because people are failing just to do a simple thing, to jump into love, to, to enter into a zone where they flow in love. The moment love starts to flow, an art of quick sacrifice gets in. Quick sacrifice. I'm talking about sacrificing because you are in love. I'm talking about letting other things go because you are in love. A person who is in love does not expect perfection or a perfect person in the other person they love. Because loves, love makes you to consider, makes you very much consider it. It makes you to have an understanding heart. Even if they make a mistake, because love is flowing inside you, considering or jump into you. Let them not lie to you and say, I love you, yet they wish to punish you. There is nothing like that. Let them not say, I love you, yet they don't consider or expect you to be super perfect. There is no such love. There is no such love. In that imperfect character, in that wrong act, love does not have a boundary. It loves. That's why right now, let me tell you a person who may carry genuine love. It's your mother. Your mother may carry genuine love. That's why she can celebrate you even at any given time. She can remain the only soldier celebrating you even in your own mistakes because she carries genuine love. She's the one who gave birth birth to you. So by so doing, she carries genuine love and it is her. That such type of love, if it flows to everyone, to every leader, uh, if it flows to every leader, it, if it flows to everyone who is at a position of influence, you will start to see even development increasing. Because what has died right now completely, I don't know the type of hearts which people are now caring. But some and not all of them, if not all of them, they are now full of dark patches full of dark patches. People will be looking at your videos. People will be scrolling at your profile. Not because they love you, but they are hunting for a mistake. They are hunting for where you made an error so that they can blot the error more than anything that you've done good. So people are looking at mistakes. That's why right now in this world, bad news do travel seven times faster than good news. Because people are no longer full of love. They are full of a judgmental heart. They are full of a judgmental sense. When they look at somebody, when they look at somebody, they don't look at them with an eye of saying, be blessed or be okay. They look with an eye of judging and waiting to see your downfall. Yet, human beings, we were not created in such nature. We were created with a heart that forgives, a heart that loves, a heart that endures, a heart that is full of patience, a heart that must see progress happening in others. But what does our heart care right now? We are seeing people with fake emotions. We are seeing crocodile tears. Crocodile tears. We are seeing people who are smiling 
but yet inside they are frowning because love has died imagine after being created after being a creature and fighting the creator in a way the bible says in the book of chapter 3 verse 16 god continued to love us and on top of continuing to love us he did send his only begotten son and say go and die for the sinners and in the process of dying for the sinners look what happened he was being crucified he was being beaten brutally assaulted but on the cross he made a prayer and says forgive them for they do not know anything that is love <laughs> that is deep expression of love that is deep expression of love it is normal for love to die but the question is is it really dying or it was never there is it really dying or it was never there that's a question that you must ask yourself is my love dying or it was never there sometimes we jump to say we love yet we just like the thing yet there is just a mutual agreement yet it's another comrade we cannot really say it's a crony there was a common reason why you met and you miss you misplaced that common reason why you met to love that's another comrade in your life you have to be very careful is this a crony are you sure that you are very much connected is it a confidant do you think you can take a bullet for them if the bullet is coming will you stand on the way there's a lot of misrepresentation in our hearts and we call it love that's wrong that's wrong we 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 we, we miss that genuine love even in the, i don't know it's different but even in the old times when you go to to church you would see people serving genuinely with love they want perfection in the things of the lord if 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 you go to different cities if you if you meet the old leaders you would feel genuine love concern of improvement of the community you would see that people are genuinely concerned not to put money in their pocket but a genuine concern of improving a city improving a location improving a relationship improving whatever they are serving you see the danger of employing or the danger of associating with fake people is you be given fake love and when fake love is given unto you you invest hoping to receive the same from them yet it will never be the same god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son he gave that what which mattered the most for him to prove that he loved his people I want I want to I want to know I want to I want to know right now the ones that you claim that you love what was the last sacrifice that you did what was the last sacrifice that you did in to the ones that you claim that you love what was the last sacrifice that you did what was the last gift that you sent because love and giving they do move hand in hand love and giving they do move hand in hand why should you claim that you love yet you can't give doesn't add up love and giving moves hand in hand it is obvious your money is always where your heart is your money is always where your heart is where your heart is the most that's where your money is so loving and giving goes hand in hand if you say you love what must you follow is giving not receiving there is a huge difference there receiving does not signify you are in love you are it signifies you are loved so loving and giving goes in hand in hand if you love you let go you give you sacrifice you show an effort those that did not those that did not receive on such a day people may have different theories it's normal 
but in normal setup where there's love valentine is for both parties preaching to the world now the woman must receive and the man must receive both you are sharing love yes they may say men do receive in leap year but if i ask you last year was a leap year did you send love is never one way if you're in love if you're in the relationship is not a one-way thing it is a double way thing it must go there as well as it comes there so that you appreciate it. the level may, may be different according to the income but the art of sacrifice must be seen the art of giving to must be seen it then resemble love if you love them too love and giving they do move hand in hand you can't just say i love yet you can't give you must love and give it moves hand in hand speaking to you you say he loves you did he give you anything today maybe it's broke but it, uh, did he really express it in a way that you say for sure you wanted to where the heart of the person is that's where their money is think again but love is considered if you love them you can consider you can make this skip and check properly if surely they love you and if surely they love you since love is considered you can work another way to improve the love because love can also be improved love can grow maybe there are things or areas that is making you not know, to grow the love how does love grow love grows by attention to women love grows by respect to men that's how it is you grow by respecting to women it grows by attention that's how it is so by so doing what i would encourage you to do today is very simple the world is speaking about valentine's day which i've said they've borrowed the word love from our lord who is love besides giving to your spouse besides giving to a person that you're always with i also want you to remember your grain i also want you to remember your uncle i also want to remember the people that did sacrifice in your life and take this day as a day of love because of the coincidence that this world day is in the sunday our holy sunday i would want you to just send a simple message to anyone that is important to you and say to them i'm sorry for the mistake that i have done but i love you and may you also consider me in your heart so that they can be peace and that love must be shared uh, if you can send a message now i'll be happy i want you to tell them and say to them i love you and may you consider my apologies of all the past mistakes it is very important to reconcile it is a fruit of love to reconcile it is a fruit of love to come back together you know as i'm preaching right now i'm seeing your comments there are some sisters who do not talk to other sisters for years now i want you to take this advantage of today and just send a message to your sister and say my sister we have not been talking my brother we've not been talking my father we have not been talking there was a gap in between us the devil had penetrated to remove the greatest gift god says the greatest of them all is love you know the devil penetrated to remove the greatest gift of all and there was a separation between you and your husband you and your children children fighting each other but today i want you to take advantage of this declaration which is prophetic and i want you to send a simple message to your sister a simple message to your brother and say my brother i love you please forgive me of what i have wronged you when you love you are not expecting yourself to be understood correct uh -uh. love does not matter look at jesus christ when he was crucified it doesn't mean that he was wrong no he said to forgive them for they do not know what they are doing sometimes you may ask for forgiveness not because you are wrong you are asking for forgiveness because inside your heart you are full of love you are asking for forgiveness because inside your heart you are full of love if you are truly full of love inside your heart it is very easy to ask for forgiveness this is what i am requiring you to do today i want you to jump into a zone where you can ask for forgiveness no matter the position so i want you to say to him and i want you to say to him and i want you to say to to, to them i am sorry i love you may the love of christ flow between us 
if that comes up, you see, life is too short for such nonsense of carrying grudges for years, for not talking to your fellow sister just because you heard of something. Some, okay, we have what agencies of the devil that moves with the, with the gossip that is wrong, that disturbs. But love must conquer all those things. If somebody comes to you and says this and this, I believe that the love of God must conquer all that. And the love of God must bring peace among people. So my prayer, my wish today is that the coincidence of the Valentine, the day of the world, being on the day of a holy Sunday. My prayer and my wish today as a prophet is to allow the love of God to flow in all relationships, to allow the love of God to flow in all places, such that we harvest from the love, not to harvest from hatred. We harvest from love, not to harvest from gossip. Forgiveness must flow. I want you even to forgive yourself. I want you to forgive yourself. Sometimes we hold ourselves against our past mistakes and it disturbs even the flow of the love of Christ to happen in our life. I want you even to forgive yourself. We have done mistakes. A lot of errors have happened, but I want you to forgive yourself. I want you to forgive yourself. This is, what, this is my prayer. This is what I'm wishing. This, this is my understanding. The love of God may it flow inside your life, may it happen inside your life in Jesus' mighty name. Forgive yourself. Let the love of God flow. Let the love of God flow. Understand each other. Live in peace. Live in peace. This is what God is saying today. Let the love of God flow. May the love of God find you. May the love of your partner grow. May they be an exchange of sacrifice. May they be serious consideration and deep forgiveness. May the Spirit of the Lord help you not to sleep in anger. That's what we pray. That's what we wish. May you not sleep in anger. May you be neutralized in the way you act. May love grow inside you. May your sacrifice, love is sacrifice, love is sacrifice. May your sacrifice be noticed that surely you are sacrificing. You see, just my last advice, which is very important, very, very, very important. When you are in the world of love and you are in love, do not test if you are loved or not. You often get to be disappointed because your own assumption of testing love may not coincide or may not go head to head with how the other person is showing love. If you genuinely love somebody, genuinely love them, sacrifice, do your part, be very much considerate. If you start to move around testing if you are loved, it can be very dangerous. Sometimes you test in the wrong way and you may not get the truth out of it. Love is love. If you love, love genuinely. Do your part. Act your part. Do not expect to love because you are being loved. That is wrong. Love is love. Do your part. When God gave Jesus Christ, he did not give to us because we loved him or showed him love. No. He just genuinely loved. He genuinely loved and he did his part. What is it for that? What is very important is do your part. Genuinely love. Genuinely sacrifice. Just to be a good person you will see that the aura around you will start to change. But you will never settle. You will never enjoy life if you are a person of tit for tat. It doesn't work like that. Genuinely love. Just it, let it be your nature to genuinely love. People are different. They love differently. They express themselves differently. Do your part. Just genuinely love. Do your part. Sacrifice. Give as much as you can. Am I speaking to you? I hope I've spoken to your spirit. I hope I've advised you. And I hope your love will change and your love will grow. And you will genuinely love.